Hello, hello. This is Kanal from Potion, and today we're going to talk about video prospecting best practices. Our team has analyzed over 3 million AI generated videos, and this is what we learned. With traditional outreach methods becoming less effective, video prospecting has quickly emerged as a powerful tool to connect with potential clients. The key difference is that video prospecting allows you to create a more personal, more engaging connection with your prospects. For those who don't know, video prospecting is simply a technique that combines the power of video with the art of prospecting. It involves creating personalized video messages to engage with your prospects. Let's get started with video pros prospecting best practices. Step number one, plan your content. Just like everything, effective video prospecting requires careful planning before hitting the record button. You should outline your video content. There are four elements to content planning. Element number one, objective. What's the purpose of your video? Are you introducing yourself, explaining a product, or offering a solution to a specific problem? State that. Element number two, audience. Who is your target audience? You should tailor your message to their needs, pain points, interests. Element number three, the script. Write a video script, or at least an outline of what you wanna say, bullet points. This keeps your message focused, and concise. Element number four, length. Keep your videos short and to the point. Ideally aim for videos that are no longer than 90 seconds. Remember, average attention spans are short and you wanna get your message across quickly. Step number two, choose the right types of equipment. To get started with video prospecting, you surely need the right tools. On a general note, there are three elements you'll need. Element number one, a good camera. While many laptops and smartphones have decent built-in cameras, investing in a high quality external webcam or a DSLR camera can significantly improve your video quality. I'm using an Elgato webcam right now. In industries like real estate, this matters a lot. Element number two, a quality microphone. Again, we emphasize on this a lot ourselves. Clear audio is essential. An external microphone such as a USB microphone or a lavalier microphone can make a significant difference in sound quality. Element number three, proper lighting. It's crucial for a professional looking video. Invest in some softbox lights or use natural light to your advantage or maybe have like a soft bedside lamp what have you and just have your whole body and face properly illuminated. Very important. Step number three, humanize your message one of the biggest advantages of video prospecting is the ability to humanize your message here are the top three elements you can incorporate to achieve this element number one be yourself authenticity matters and you don't want to be someone else you don't want to pretend that you're gary v you don't want to pretend that you're frank kern be genuine let your personality shine through even the mistakes element number two add some smile Yes, you heard it right. A simple smile can go a long way in building rapport. Smile when appropriate and let your enthusiasm be present when you deliver your pitch. You don't have to have an ear to ear grin all the time, but having that warm smile as you speak does convey your message in a much confident, much better way. Element number three, use humor, but sparingly. Humor can be effective in connecting with your audience, but it can also backfire. So be cautious. When you use it, as a general rule of thumb, use humor sparingly and ensure it's appropriate for your target audience and your message. Step number four, use screen sharing wisely. Now, screen sharing videos are again a valuable tool in video prospecting, especially when delivering software demos, presentations, or doing a data showcase. However, you should use screen sharing wisely. Here are our top three elements for screen sharing. Element number one, keep it concise. Avoid screen sharing for an extended period as viewers may lose interest in watching you navigate through complex software or if it's taking too long to showcase your demo, keep it short, keep it concise. Element number two, highlight your key points. When sharing your screen, use annotations or vocal callouts to highlight key information, making it easier for the viewer to follow. Element number three, follow up follow-up and follow-up. After the screen sharing video is sent, 
send follow-up videos with a more personalized touch, addressing the prospects directly. Step number five, personalization is key. One of the most significant advantages of video prospecting is the ability to personalize your message. To make the most of this, you should consider incorporating these three elements in your video outreach. Element number one, address your prospect by name. Element number two, reference specific details about their company or industry to show that you've done your research. Element number three, mention any mutual connections or referrals that you may have to establish trust and build authentic connection. Do note that personalization in any form demonstrates that you are genuinely interested in the prospect and not just sending out a generic mass message. Very, very important to note that. Step number six, practice before recording. I'm very camera shy, but practice makes me feel like, okay, I can dive in, be myself, and just let the message flow. Rehearse your message. Pay attention to these three elements. Element number one, delivery. You should speak clearly and confidently. Avoid filler words like ums and ahs as much as you can. You know the reasons why. Element number two, body language. Be mindful of your body language. Maintain good posture and use hand gestures purposefully. Element number three, tone and pitch. Your tone of voice and pitch should be engaging, should convey enthusiasm, as bland or monotonous delivery can turn viewers off. Step number seven, mind your brand. Sorry to break it to you, but the environment in which you record your video matters. Here are the top two elements for choosing the right setting that matches your brand personality. Element number one, professionalize your appearance. Your surroundings should, should convey professionalism. Your clothes, your demeanor should convey professionalism. And you should avoid recording in messy or unprofessional settings, such as restaurants or cafes, or where people are walking behind you. That is not professionals. Be authentic, just you and the camera messaging creating an authentic experience for your audience. Element number two, customize your branding. If possible, include subtle branding elements in the background. A branded backdrop or your company logo can help you reinforce your message. Element number three, customize your video landing pages. Having the right domain URL that matches your brand name and not a generic URL like the Loom video, uh, having the right colors, right logo, fonts, everything that matches your brand and style is extremely important in reinforcing your message and your brand in the eyes of your audience. Those were the seven steps that you need to nail video prospecting. So in conclusion, I'll say that the key to a successful video prospecting campaign is one, personalization, two, high quality content, and three, consistent follow-ups. As technology continues to evolve and advance and remote work becomes more of a norm, mastering the art of video prospecting is an investment in your sales success. So grab your camera, start practicing, and watch your sales pipeline grow as you build stronger, more meaningful connections with your prospects. Thanks for watching this video and subscribe to our channel for more, well, salesy, non-salesy content and see you next time. Happy prospecting. Bye.